Hi, and uh, today we are gonna study the dynamic behavior of first order control system by taking an example of mixing process. So, dynamic behavior of first order control system by taking an example of mixing process so consider a mixing tank with a stirrer and suppose we are mixing sugar in water so let the inlet concentration of sugar be ci and the outlet concentration of sugar be co and we are going to maintain the flow rate q constant because we need to maintain the hold up volume of the tank so the inlet volumetric flow rate will be q and the outlet volumetric flow rate will also be q and it is important to note that there will be no rate of generation of any species as this is a simple mixing process and now if you recall the mole balance we write in our chemical reaction engineering so if you write the mole balance then the molar flow rate at the inlet of this mixing process plus the rate of generation which is equal to the molar flow at the outlet of this mixing process plus the rate of accumulation but here there is no rate of generation so we are gonna neglect this term and we can write this equation as q times ci plus zero which will be equal to q times co plus v times the change in outlet concentration of the sugar with respect to the change in time so we can write this equation as q times ci which is equal to q times co plus v times dco by dt let's call this the equation number one and we know at steady state the change in outlet concentration of the sugar with respect to the change in time will be zero so this equation can be written as q times ci which is equal to q times co let's call this the equation number two now okay we'll introduce this subscript s for the steady state so now if we introduce our deviation variable so ci minus ci s which will be equal to let's suppose this is ci bar and co minus co s which will be equal to co bar and now if we subtract equation number two from equation number one then we can write this equation as q times ci minus ci s which is equal to q times co minus co s plus v times d by dt of co minus co s which is equal to q times ci bar equals q times co bar plus v times d by dt of co bar and now what we are gonna do is we are gonna take laplace transform on both side of this equation so we'll get q times c bar s which is equal to q times co bar s plus v times s to the power one co bar s so q is q times c bar s which is equal to if we take c bar s common then we get q plus v times s now we know that the transfer function is the laplace transform of output deviation variable divided by the laplace transform of input deviation variable so we can write this equation as q divided by q plus v times s is equal to the laplace transform of output division variable divided by the laplace transform of input division variable and if we take q common so this will be one plus 
v by q times s which is equal to c o bar s divided by c i s so this q q will get cancelled and if we compare this equation with the standard first order transfer function so we know that g s is equal to 1 by tau s plus 1 so it is very clear that here the time constant is equal to v by q so in the case of the mixing process the time constant is the ratio of the volume divided by the volumetric flow rate so the uh, this was all the information regarding the dynamic behavior of first order control system by taking an example of mixing process thank you for watching this video